This is our 1964 Olds Cutlass F85 convertible. So this video will have a very slow walk around, giving you a good look at condition, and then uh, some clips of the car running uh, as well as revving. So it's a running and driving project. Uh, it will require a little bit of assembly. Um, the trim pieces like that front one and then also around the top for the rear. Um, but the trim pieces will come in a box with the car uh, as well as uh, original gauges and uh, door panels. Take a look at the listing for kind of a run through of it. Uh, but the gentleman we bought the car from was in Missouri. Uh, he had started doing a restoration on it, uh, had it painted years back. Uh, has a new black convertible top on it, um, but he just never got around to finishing it. So with a bit of assembly, a little bit of fine tuning, uh, you, could, you could definitely have yourself a pretty sweet car here. Uh, weather stripping should definitely be done. You can obviously see there the, you know, it's around the windows. It's not something you want to, you know, put outside. The wheels are in nice shape. Uh, very, very limited oxidation, no damage. Um, tires though, I'm not positive how old they are. You know, they're not, not flat spotted or anything like that, but not positive how old they are. So I would recommend replacing those uh, sooner rather than later. Chrome stuff is really, really nice. Uh, like the front and rear bumper, no, no damage or oxidation. Definitely looks to have been refinished before, before long ago. You can see that top is new, you know, no, no wrinkles in there or anything. Uh, it was supposed to be a power top, of course. Uh, power top is not functional, so that's something to look into. It is the correct color, um, Wedgwood Mist. Nice kind of medium blue over white vinyl, which again is correct. Uh, the engine that's in there, it's not original to the car, it's slightly later. Uh, the date code puts it between 68 and 72, but it is a 455. The car runs all right. It's it's a pretty weak idle. Um, you know, needs to get warm before it can even hold an idle on its own. So you'll notice that here in the idle clip. It's a little wonky. Front brakes are also super grabby at parking lot speeds. So those will need to look before you're really doing much of any mileage. But the uh, the gauges that are in there, they're all functional and the back lights work as well. Uh, head unit turns on, but there's no speakers but it, it's not very far off from being nice.